Installing the Kohler Numi 2 Smart Toilet. This animation is intended as a supplement. Refer to the installation instructions included with your product for important safety information and detailed installation instructions. For the installation, you will need the following tools and materials. Water hammer arrester, wax ring, 5 16 inch T-bolts, drill with assorted bits, pencil, shims, measuring tape, Phillips and flat blade screwdrivers, ratchet style screwdriver, socket wrench with half inch deep sockets, putty knife, rags, scissors, hacksaw, tape, bucket, towel, and safety glasses. Warning! Risk of electric shock. Disconnect the power before servicing. Connect only to a dedicated circuit protected by a ground fault circuit interrupter, GFCI, which protects against line-to-ground shock hazard. Use a 120-volt, 15-amp, 60-hertz service. Do not remove the grounding pin or use a grounding adapter. Follow all local plumbing and building codes. If the new toilet will not be installed immediately, temporarily insert a rag in the floor flange to prevent gases from escaping into the room. Do not install any items behind the toilet that will interfere with the cover when it is raised. This toilet requires a 12-inch minimum rough-in distance from the wall to the center of the floor flange. Use a putty knife to remove the old wax ring from the floor flange. With a pencil, Mark the center lines of the floor flange on the floor. Locate the water supply line 10 to 12 inches to the left of the center line mark and 3 to 6 inches above the finished floor. Install a water hammer arrester to the supply line, then install the provided water supply stop. Install a GFCI protected electrical outlet at least 10 inches from the center line mark and within a 32-inch radius of the centerline mark. Install the outlet 3 to 6 inches above the finished floor. Important! Do not install the wax ring until instructed to do so. Install two T-bolts into the floor flange. Place the trapway over the floor flange and mark the position of the rear mounting hole. Remove the trapway. Cut out the template and tape it into place over the floor flange. Mark the position of the four mounting block holes, then remove the template. At each mark, drill a 3 16 inch pilot hole. If anchors will be used, drill a half inch hole at each mark. If drilling into tile, use the appropriate drill bit to avoid damaging the finished floor. If using anchors, insert one into each of the holes. Press the wax ring onto the bottom of the trapway. Fit the trapway over the T-bolts and floor flange. Install the washers and nuts to the T-bolts. Secure the back of the trapway using the provided lag bolt and washer. Cut off the excess T-bolts directly above the nuts. Secure the mounting blocks to the floor with the provided lag bolts. Position protective material on the floor in front of the mounting blocks. With assistance, carefully tilt the toilet forward until it rests on the front surface. Then connect the supply hose to the toilet. Confirm the foot switch moves freely in and out of the toilet base. With assistance, carefully lower the toilet into place over the trapway and mounting blocks. Connect the supply hose to the supply stop. Turn on the water supply and check all connections for leaks. Tighten any connections as needed. Plug the toilet into the outlet. Once plugged in, the toilet will automatically enter startup mode. This process takes several minutes. Insert a bushing and a screw into the holes on each side of the toilet. Using a ratchet style screwdriver, Tighten the screws evenly to keep the toilet properly aligned over the mounting blocks. Confirm that the toilet is level and does not rock. If needed, use shims to level the toilet or eliminate any rocking. 
Install the caps over each of the bushings. Use the provided T6 Torx screwdriver to remove the cover from the remote control dock. Position the dock at the desired mounting location, then mark the location of the screw holes. Using a quarter inch bit, drill holes at each of the marked screw locations. If drilling into tile, use the appropriate drill bit to avoid damaging the finished wall. Install an anchor into each of the holes. Using the two supplied screws, attach the dock to the wall. Install the provided AAA batteries. Ensure the O-ring is still installed to the cover, then reinstall the cover onto the dock. Twist and remove the back plate from the remote control. Install the provided AA batteries, then reinstall the back plate. Place the remote control onto the docking station. Use the remote control to test the toilet features. The remote control should pair automatically with the toilet. To confirm the remote is paired, press the flush button on the remote and verify the toilet flushes. To test the bidet function, use the plastic cover from the side panels to cover the toilet bowl. Seat functionality is triggered by skin contact with the seat. With your hand, apply pressure to the right side of the toilet seat. Then press the rear wash button on the remote to confirm operation of the bidet wand. The bidet wand will extend and spray water. To stop the water flow, remove your hand or press the stop button on the remote. For more details on remote control operation and the functionality of the NUMI 2 Smart Toilet, refer to the Quick Reference Guide and the Homeowner's Guide packed with your product.